Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome back to What's Next, Ricky Pereira, who's the Dell Enterprise Manager at Pinnacle. Uh, Ricky, uh, interesting times we're living in. I mean, uh, we're still under the lockdown since we last spoke. Um, how have you been finding business out of interest? Well, lately business has been picking up. Um, you know, things are, are getting a bit better with the lower levels of lockdown. But as you said, it's we two years. You know, it's we basically two years into to, to COVID and. Not much has really changed. I think people are still just carrying on, although you know it's quite quite funny the new regulations with uh, with with COVID, where if you aren't if you've got COVID and you tested positive but you're not showing any symptoms, sorry for you, you can carry on working. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fascinating. Now, listen, I mean, talking about COVID, I mean, you and I had this discussion a few months back. I mean, sure, some of the parameters have changed, but how has the COVID pandemic and the and the changes in the workplace, which you just spoke about a second, um, that it's caused? You know, it's obviously affected organizations, how they run and their service, for example. It shifted the way we do business. What, what have you seen? So there's still a, there's still a requirement to, to, to run servers uh, in the environment. A lot of the customers, the, a lot of the the, the, the guys have been moving forward is sort of taking their servers and I can put them more into a hosted uh, scenario or a, a hosted environment. So they're trying to yes. get it off, off premise so they don't have to worry about having the kit locally on, on their own data center where they then have to worry about power, electricity and things like that. And then talking about that, you still got ESCOM with their, with, uh, with their rolling load shedding once in a while, which, you know, we've been, been with that for the last, what, uh, how many years? It's like almost, it's almost going to be twenty years in a couple of years' time that we've been running with load shedding. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a lot of the customers are still you know still purchasing servers, but they're utilizing the servers a bit smarter and moving the the the, the, the requirements offsite, um, which is then putting a little bit of a strain, which becomes a little bit more of a strain into the security and making sure that the the equipment is secure. Yeah. No, it's quite interesting when you when you look at the patterns that uh, businesses are employing, right, and uh, where they're moving their workplaces and 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 their and their, and their loads, etc. Uh, interesting that you should say that. Now, Dell EMC Power Edge, for example, places a, a major priority on cyber resilience and security. Now, we know how big security is, and I mean, last year was quite a horrific year when you look at the amount of cyber attacks and you look at the ransomware that's been going on. I mean, security is probably the most important issue. In fact, it's been highlighted by various surveys, uh, including, if I'm not mistaken, the Allianz survey that places security and cyber threats at the top of threats globally uh, going forward this year. And, you know, this even begins before your server is even up and running, you know, such as with uh, with Dell Technologies secured, uh, you know, component, for example, there's that uh, verification, the SCV technology, which you talk about. Uh, so security, a really big component. Could you explain what this technology is and why it's so important in the context of the security that we're experiencing around us. Yeah, so within the Dell PowerEdge server range, um, that's one of the things that Dell do do produce do do to make sure that these items are secure, and that the supply chain of all the components that they put into their servers is certified, and making sure it's not, there's no tampering along the way between getting it from their from from the manufacturer through to putting it into the, into the into their into their equipment. Um, and then supplying it through to to the to the to the customers, which is all our all, all our customers that we that we have. So the way it basically secures it is to make sure that there isn't any uh, any um, flaws or any sort of uh, a back doors that can actually be opened up by the actual equipment within with, within the Dell the Dell PowerEdge service. Now that, that that's focusing more on that on that like I said the cybersecurity side to make sure that we are protecting the data that we are protecting the side of things, and then the next step is that is the cyber resilience is it's not a matter of if there's going to be a cyber attack it's almost a matter of when um, and how does the Dell Power and the Dell Power as a service service is almost supplied there that it can actually try to protect you and protect your data and get your data basically back into, into oper an operational model by utilizing sort of, sort of, um, sort of a, uh, last known configurations and things like that. So it's built-in security that's already there. It's just a matter of actually making sure it's, it's, it's uh, uh, 
being used correctly, should I say. Yeah. So, I mean, Dell Technologies has highlighted cyber resilient architecture too. I mean, I've read about this. I've seen it in action. It's it's a big selling point for the Dell EMC PowerEdge servers. Now, what makes this architecture superior to the alternatives that are out there? Well, it's, uh, basically it's because Dell, one of their primary roles or primary pillars is to, to, to offer something that's easy and secure uh, and easier to operate. Um, but meanwhile, not, not getting to the point where security is, the be, uh, is like to make sure it's, it's secure to a point where it's not operational. So they've got to mm. go find that fine balance. And that's one of the things is that Dell, as, uh, Dell has over the, 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 the other uh, suppliers is that they're making sure that their supply chain is clear, um, that there aren't, any, there aren't any issues. And they try to make, make sure that their cyber, resilient, their, their cyber security is put in place first. Um, and with that, it's basically keeping the peace of mind to, 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 their, to, their, to their customers or to all our customers, um, as we say. Um, so, yeah, I mean, within the PowerEdge server, there's also that additional, like I said, there's, there is a slight difference between cybersecurity and cyber resilience, where cybersecurity, you are looking at protecting your data, making sure it's covered, making sure you, you're sort of doing the proactive side of things. Uh, cyber resilience is the, the, uh, what, you know, sort of how do, how do companies uh, uh, protect themselves if there's, a, if there's a, an attack or when there's an attack, because as you know, there's almost an attack every 11 seconds around the globe, yeah. which is quite, you know, if, if you think of it, it's the, in the, the meeting, the, the, the session that we're having right now, there's probably been about 20 cyber attacks somewhere along the, somewhere along the line in the world. No, don't say that. <laughs> You're going to give me a heart attack. But, but, you know, Ricky, that's the reality. That's, that's what's happening out there. Yeah, correct. And then that's one of the things to make sure that if there is an attack, how quick can, can you get back to the original function or the original configuration and making sure that, it, that, that, that you, you protect it going forward again? Um, and then it's that balance of, you know, it's, it's almost that, uh, that, that balance of who, you can almost say it's chicken and an egg type scenario where companies, yes, so if they procure Dell PowerEdge servers and procure Dell, uh, Dell EMC equipment, they will know that there's already pre uh, the, the secure cyber security has already been pre built into the solutions. But it's not like it's not a, it's not a silver bullet where it will protect you with you know um, it's the be on end all. There will still yeah, be yeah. requirements going forward to make sure that you are protected. And then the converse is a. If, you, if something does happen, it's almost like a, uh, you're making sure that there's an insurance policy in place that then you'll cover that, you know, you'll be able to recover your data without having, you know, without losing anything in essence. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ricky, when you look at, I mean, the, the, we're talking about attacks, right? Attacks on, on, on firmware continue to increase in frequency. I mean, that's a very big concern. Now, why why are these attacks coming uh, you know on firmware for example and and you know and how does the EMC the Dell EMC PowerEdge servers protect you against these type of attacks so again with the, like the attacks on the firmware side of things it's almost that middleman where firmware is in, in, in between the hardware and the so- and the software and it sort of runs the runs the environment um, where majority of some most cyber security is actually all protecting on trying to get into the network, but once you're in the network, you still got to make sure that the your your equipment within the server itself gets protected. And how they basically try to attack the firmware is to, you know, they they get into the firmware and then change change whatever instructions, which then will change and send out information where it's not supposed to send out information. Um, and then over and above that is that that firmware is sort of where the um, you could almost say where the remote, where you, where you'd have to to secure the remote access to the server. So you know, it's getting that balance of opening up the server so you can actually access it and and, and you know access the server and be able to to administer it from a remote location. Where as I, as I alluded earlier, is a lot of companies are moving the, you know moving their kit into a hosted environment as so like a Terico or something to that effect. Yes. Um, 
But how are you going to, you're still going to administer it. You're not going to send someone in a car to drive there every single time there's the, they have to do a, an update or something to that effect. You've got to secure that, secure that environment remotely. And that's where the, that, that pre-security that we actually, that Dell PowerEdge servers offer covers that. And then, um, and like I said, the, the, the next step is on the cyber resilience is making sure that that, that data, that once, it's, once you've got it on the server, that gets protected and put into a vault, though you don't have that. Um, so you secure it up front, but then you're making sure you've got a backup uh, or a location that you can actually get your data without having to worry about paying the ransomware up front in order for them yeah. to un encrypt your, unencrypt your data. Um, so, yeah, the, when you're looking at the firmware, it protects the firmware and making sure that any data that's there that's going between the firmware, between the, the components, does get encrypted within the, within the server itself. And that's one of the things that Dell do up front to making sure yeah. that all the components are verified from, from, from when it gets manufactured till it actually gets put into, put into to a Dell server. They're making sure that the, the, that security is, is up it is okay, well, that makes perfect sense. Now, another important area of cyber resilience uh, is being able to recover the data promptly. You know, it's all very well you go down, but how quickly do you recover? And this is particularly important, you know, as, as ransomware attacks continue to rise in prominence. I mean, they're all over the place. So how, how do Dell EMC Power Edge servers help you recover your data a lot quicker? Well, within that side, within the, 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 the Dell PowerEdge servers, there are certain functionalities within the, the, the remote administration and things like that. And also sort of some of the things where they say it's a last known good configuration. So that's, that, that can be built into, the, built into the, 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 ser the server itself. So if something changes within that server, it's, quick and, it's, it's easy enough and quick enough to actually get back into the original configuration um, so you can actually get, get your server operational again. And then from a data perspective, that is when you basically start looking at a, a sort of a vault, a data vault that, um, that, that, that you require. And instead of just having a backup from, from your, your, your server into a backup server or to, to backup tapes, because you basically almost segregate this environment and you put your data inside, inside that that vault, and it's a one-way traffic uh, type scenario. So it'll only read the tra traffic that's coming in. Plus, it's also got the intelligence within that cyber resilient cy that, that data vault that it almost checks that to make sure that the data isn't changed. So that's one of the things within the cyber the, the Dell EMC cyber resilience uh, uh, solution. Your data gets backed up. Your data is on the server. It gets backed up. The backup data gets put into the vault. The vault checks that the data hasn't been adjusted in some form or another. Um, yes. So when you get to that point of when you need to recover, your data is correct. You don't go and recover okay. uh, where, you know, in some of the cases that ransomware can actually take, it's not a, a, a happens right now. It could be something that's happened in the last month or so where your data and your backup gets corrupted. So you've lost that sort of informa that, that information over a week or over a couple of days. It, with that data vault that you actually put in place, you'll be able to make sure that the data that you have is correct and you can recover that, quick, recover that as quickly as possible. D data integrity, I mean, it's so important and you've highlighted it so well. It, it's very really clear that uh, the Dell EMC PowerEdge servers offer extremely impressive cyber resilience. So, I mean, what, what other features uh, make this uh, one of the best options for businesses out there? What are the other features that, that uh, you can highlight for us? Well, within the site, within the Dell uh, servers, the, you, you can get in, like I said, it's encrypting the data from, from up front. Um, also, the drives that you can actually put into, into the Dell PowerEdge servers, you can actually put the, um, uh, encrypted drives up front. So any of your data is already from a, from a, a, a protection pr pr uh, policy, you encrypt it. Your process right. is encrypted with a, with a, um, with a trust uh, uh, TPM uh, chip or trusted protocol management chip. That encrypts all the data from your processor to your, to your memory. That's one of the things that Dell does and, and keeps your data protected and keeps it consistent 
and and make sure the data the, the integrity of the data doesn't get changed when it's moving from component to a component same thing from going from that component into in drives and when you looking at your your uh, data encryption drives you make that, that's making sure that the data that's on the drives is already encrypted so mm. it, you can't read that data straight off the drive so if someone pulls out a drive from a from a Dell server they're not going to be able to just read that data data uh, you know by plugging it into another server they will need to actually have that security key in order to break down that data so therefore keeping your da- data safe and keeping it resilient on the server itself you can take it to the next le- you 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 protect it going forward yeah yeah but uh, you know Ricky, it's fascinating listening to you how many different layers are included in that security. I mean, uh, you know, Dell EMC, Power Edge servers, there's, there's, there's so much complexity out there when you're doing business today and the data that you have to protect and the threats that are coming along your way. It's incredible when you talk about the different layers of security that are in these uh, in this technology. It's really quite impressive. Now, alongside your Dell EMC Power Edge servers, what other Dell technologies uh, Dell technology products, rather, have you found to be like most popular with businesses, with organizations? And what makes these particular products so special that are being used in conjunction with what we've been talking about? Yeah. So, like I said, the server is basically almost the brains of the, the, the requirement. The other Dell technology pro- products that we actually have, the Dell technology products that we have, is you can look at so from a data protection perspective, you're looking at data domains and the uh, IDPAs, which is almost a, a data protection tool uh, and data protect, and it basically protects your data from uh, your, uh, stores your protected data. And that's where you're actually looking at that sort of environment of setting it up that your servers are, are the brains. You back up your data into the, into the data domain solution, and then from the data domain, you actually create that cyber vault um, where it's the, the, the data just goes in, goes into the cyber vault, and there's no sort of uh, rewriting after it's written once. You can read that data, but it's additional protection that you actually get from there. Um, over and above that, you've also got security built into the networking, the the, the dull networking equipment, which is again. Some of the other products that you've got, again, follows that sort of uh, secured component uh, verification. All the stuff that's built into it is built from from scratch and is built from the manufacturer. So almost the whole Dell uh, uh, Dell portfolio, from the power edge service to their storage to the data protection solutions, have this uh, the, the, this primary security built in. And then it's just a matter, uh, like I said, it's just a matter of keeping the customer. Yeah, so uh, what, what I'm hearing from you is that uh, that entire Dell ecosystem uh, is really very tightly protected with the, the backdrop of uh, the cybersecurity threats that we face on a day-to-day basis. Good to hear that there's uh, this peace of mind that uh, businesses have using these particular technologies. Ricky Pereira, who is the Dell Enterprise Manager at Pinnacle, do give them a call for more information. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Next Up, Ricky. Okay. Thank you, Aki. It was a great pleasure talking to you.